from Breitbart News. So Victor Merchant of Death Bout is traded for Brittany Griner. Yeah. Wonderful. Isn't she the uh, uh, super tall, broad, the, the crappy uh, player that kneels for the anthem, hates America, and does copious amounts of various drugs that was arrested in Russia for drug possession? Even though anyone, anyone with half a brain would do some research and know what the laws were in a country before going into that country, especially if they're a dope head. But she didn't uh, think it was prudent, I guess. Yeah, They're not going to search my luggage. I'm a big, tall, beanstalk woman that has privilege in the country I'm from. I'm used to being treated with kid gloves, yo, so... The pot that's in my suitcase, well, they're not going to find that. They're not even going to search it. I'm uh, Because I'm there to play basketball, don't you know? For the USA. Well, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, they searched her bag. They found the drugs. And, uh, you know, off the jail she goes for nine years. No, no, apparently not. Yeah. There's the exchange. So we exchanged her for the Merchant of Death. I think this is the dude that that uh, Nicolas Cage movie, Lord of War, Pretty good movie, actually. Uh, it was based on, you know, this dude sold lots and lots of illegal weapons. Yeah. By the way, I don't have a problem with that. <laughs> He's not the one using them. Well, Rich Flasher, he sold them to some shady people who used them to do really evil things. Not my responsibility. Jesus Christ, the, 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 the amount of weapons that this... God damn, we left $85 billion worth of weapons... In Afghanistan, when we bugged out, and hundreds of millions of actual American dollars behind. Raw currency left there in addition to $85 billion in weapons. Probably more money in weapons than this guy traded, uh, sold in his entire fucking careers. The so-called merchant of death. You want to know the real merchant of death is? It's Joe Biden. Not this fucking guy. <sighs> Uh, but anyway, before I get into this story, I'd like to ask those of you out there that like and appreciate the raw red pill in your face nature of my content to go check out my BitChute channel, bitchute.com forward slash the realist philosopher. That's B I T C H U T E dot com forward slash the realist philosopher. You're going to find more than 1,500 pieces of content over six years of my content creation there. So a lot of red pills, a lot of yummy red pill goodness there. So go check it out, bitchute.com forward slash the realist philosopher. Okay, back to the story. Yeah, we exchanged the merchant of death <laughs> uh, for an American-hating, leftoid, liberal, activist, female basketball player who was put in jail through every fault of her own. We put people in America in jail for uh, pot possession. Uh, it's not legal in every state. We still got people rotting in jail today for pot possession, to a large extent, thanks to uh, Biden and his tough on crime policies of the 90s, and yet uh, somehow he's now a great, wonderful guy that black people love. Yeah. Because he's giving them free shit. He's offering to pay for their college, pay for everything else. Uh, you know, he's got that uh, lesbo broad as his uh, press secretary. She's black as well. Uh, he loves him the black man. I like the dark meat. So he says. Yeah. And the black people don't care how he talks about them, so long as they get that free cheddar, yo. <laughs> oh, yeah. And he, now he's getting a black woman. Is she black? She looks mulatto to me. I don't think she's all black. She's half white, I think. That, which means she's black, of course, even though there's supposedly white privilege. And if you were half black and half white and there was really such a thing as white privilege, you would claim to be white, not black. But hey, whatever. What do I know? Uh, so I don't want to watch this video. We know what happened. They exchanged him for her. Yeah, wonderful exchange there. And of course, he's going to go back to dealing arms, yeah, which is supposedly so evil. Even though, again, the biggest arms trader is America, and specifically Biden. That was a great arms deal there, Joe. $85 billion free of charge to the Taliban. <laughs> yeah, people forgot about that real quick, didn't they? Yeah. So a video recorded by Russian state media uh, shows the exact moment the two are exchanged. I don't, I don't care. I don't want to watch it. I'm not interested in watching it. In the video, Griner wearing a plaid red jacket is seen walking past a group of officials who are escorting 
Bout back to Russia. Hmm, lovely. As Bout walks away with his Russian escort, Griner is seen being ushered over to a representative of either the United Arab Emirates or the Saudis, both of whom acted as intermediaries between Russia and the U.S. to affect Griner's release and the prisoner swap. Uh, the NBA player was taken on a plane as she prepped to depart Russian soil. Do we want to watch this? Uh, I really don't. It's such a pain in the ass to watch video. Uh, okay, let's watch it, just because, you know, why not? It's there. Happy. <laughs> well, are you ready for one flight? Uh, yes. That's a dude. Who is that? That's Britley Griner. That's a dude. I don't think I ever heard her voice before. There's probably a reason for that. They want to hide the fact this is a dude. This is not a woman. This is the dude. Listen to the voice. Is Britney Griner trans? This is a tranny. This ain't no woman. This is a dude. That explains why she's so tall. Excuse me, he. That's a dude. Look at that bone structure. Look at that face. Look at how broad those shoulders are. Whenever you can fit three heads under the shoulders. So this is how you know you're talking about dealing with looking at a dude, not a dudette. The distance between the side of the head and the edge of the shoulder on a man is a one-to-one -one ratio in regards to the width of the head. So you can take one head and place it on the right shoulder and the same width of their head and place it on their left. While a woman, you can only fit two and a half of their heads. So on a man, it's a three-to-one ratio in relation to the width of the head. On a woman, it's two and a half. That's a dude! Uh, how you doing, Brittany? I'm doing fine! <coughs> what the fuck? Do you know where I'm heading to? No. No? No. 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 That's a dude! Is this one of those secret trannies that got the transitioned at like age five or something and it was hidden and nobody knows that that person is a tranny but they were tranny or they suspect but they don't know for sure because there's no record or something or was then outside the U.S. I don't know what the hell's going on here but this is a tranny. Why isn't this room reported in the media? Why aren't MSNBC and uh, CNN talking about that voice? You know, for a chick... That's a pretty deep voice, yo. I've never heard this Britney Griner speak. I've just seen video and everything. I've never heard audio. I've never heard audio. I'll admit I didn't really care enough to <laughs> investigate. <sighs> the fact that she's so tall made me think, is that a dude? But just in passing. Now I know for sure. That's a dude. You fly back home. To, to the U.S. To the U.S. Oh, yes. Okay. Okay. Is it confirmed that this is a tranny? Am I, am I just in the dark? Do I just not know what's going on? Okay, that's enough. <laughs> that's enough of that. That's a dude. That, that, that's absolutely a dude. Anyhow, the story continues by saying the lopsided trade caused many an eyebrow to be raised. 29 replies. I bet it's like 29,000 now. Let me, let me see these replies. Hmm. You think she will still take a knee on the Nash for the national anthem? That's not she. That's a he. Yeah, they freed the wrong BG. Shake my head. He looks very happy. Ha 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 ha! I love it. Oh man. Oh yeah, I love it. I'm not the only one that uh, noticed that voice. Oh my God! After releasing the Merchant of Death, I never want to hear another leftist screech on about gun control. Well, they're they're, they're not against. Okay. <laughs> They're not about against guns per se. They just want the government that they believe is on their side to have the guns. And the criminals, of course, but not people who are their uh, ideological foes. And, of course, they figure they'll have guns once the transition of power and everything is built back better. They figure they'll be the ones with the guns. No. No, no, no. You'll be the ones with guns against your fucking temple before you get shot in the fucking head and tossed in a shallow grave, you dumb lefties. That's who you're going to be. Oh, man. I'm so happy for him. <laughs> oh, just think how much money she is going to make uh, doing interviews. Yeah, big, bun big bundle of money. More than she ever made. He made, excuse me, playing uh, fema against females in basketball games. Oh, uh, man. Mm, sounds like a dude. That's because it is a dude. Okay, I'm going to give you a, a heart for that.
Look like a dog, walks like a duck, sounds like a duck. Yo, I'm not going to hold you for a second. I thought it was a light skin, JC. <laughs> oh, so most... Of, oh, that's it. What? Is that... that? That's a dude. So it is a dude. That's Brittany Griner with no shirt. What? So, so Brittany say, um... That's a tranny. Lynn Marie Nitty. Why is her voice so deep? <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah, great. Okay, back to the story. Anyway, uh, many people raised an eyebrow, thought it was lopsided. U.S. Senator Bob Mendez, for one, calls the trade deeply disturbing. The Russians and other regimes that take uh, American citizens hostage cannot pretend that there is equivalence between uh, the Britney Grinders of the world and people like Victor Bout so-called merchant of death nothing could be further from the truth and we cannot ignore that releasing bow back into the world is a deeply disturbing decision eh not really not really i, I don't give a fuck he sold weapons so what I, I i'm a big advocate of the second amendment worldwide mendez said on thursday we must stop inviting dictatorial and rogue regimes to use americans overseas as bargaining chips and we must try to do better by the way wh wh where were these same people when that poor auto warm beer uh was uh, falsely accused of trying to steal a fucking poster in north korea and he was uh, beaten nearly to death while in custody and then he was t returned to his own country uh because he was going to die and the north koreans didn't want to uh continue to fund his uh health care because <laughs> they're too fucking broke because Kim Jong-un eats too fucking much. Oh, uh, man. And we must try to do better at encouraging American citizens against traveling to places like Russia where they are primary targets for this type of unlawful detention. What do you mean unlawful detention? She broke the... The bitch had drugs in her bag, yo. And they're illegal in Russia. What do you mean unlawful? Get the fuck out of here. Thousands of Twitter users agree with Senator Menendez that trading a dangerous terrorist for a mere basketball player was a bad deal. He wasn't a terrorist. He, he was an arms dealer. He just sold to people that we apparently didn't like. Or actually, we used him as a go-between many, many fucking times. Yeah. Government was okay with that. Uh, many pointed out that in particular that the drug-using grinder has also spent years attacking the USA and refusing to stand for the national anthem. Yeah. The hell with her let her rot <laughs> in july well she's the wrong color you know she's a tranny he's a tranny and black and a and all the fucking celebrities in hollywood are hollering and screaming to get her released him excuse me it i don't know uh griner told the sports media media i honestly fear we should not play the national anthem during our season <coughs> i think we should take that much of a stand yeah so the same country that you hated, now you're begging them to intercede on your behalf. If you really were standing on your principles, if you really took a principled stand, if you were really that much anti-American, if, you you, if you were really genuine and sincere in your beliefs, would you have let America intercede on your behalf to get you out? <laughs> no. Uh, even if the league decided to play the anthem, Griner said she was going to stand with others against the country anyway. Which meant kneeling. I don't, I don't get this. The country that made it possible for you to make money off of being a tranny, mediocre basketball player. Because if you were a good basketball player, you would have been playing against other dudes, but you suck. So you had to go and play against girls. <laughs> I guess you couldn't beat other men. Uh, I'm going to protest regardless. Yeah, what are you protesting? You're making millions of dollars being mediocre with your sport. I'm not going to be out there for the national anthem. Yeah, boo diddly fucking do. Oh, no, no, I want you to save me, America. Yeah. If the league continues to want to play it, that's fine. It will be all season long. I'll not be out there. Yeah. I feel like more are going to probably do the same thing. I can only speak for myself. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see about the comments on this article. David S. says, let's see if your love of country has changed when you already thought the Biden administration couldn't do any more harm to the world. Novel Concept says, she's going to do great things. She'll continue her disrespect for the national anthem. She'll continue bellyaching about racism. And she'll get back to vaping her dope. <laughs> Perhaps she'll go on a rant about how uh, unfair, about unfair pay for WNBA players, even though it's a dude, so you should be in the NBA. The league only attended by women with really creative hairstyles and comfortable shoes. 
Uh, Clem says, uh, Brittany Griner's a guy. Broke Mexifornia says, trans dude? Question mark? <laughs> that sounds like a man. I thought prior to me seeing that video that they were just joking. But it's a man baby. Oh, yeah. No shit. Born into a body that God gave her. Saying God is flawed. It's him, not her. God does not create abominations. This dude is an abomination. <laughs> I mean, this, this, this person is getting owned. This grinder, at, it's almost all thumbs down comments. She's getting ratioed into oblivion in these comments. Uh, a pothead of her ilk is always a value to the demons running DC. Yeah. It's got a wife, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Big shocker there. Yeah. Well, he figured out early on that there was... Uh, privilege in being a woman there's privilege in being black and there's also privilege in being a tranny so you know trifecta baby you may, you can make a, a living a good living a grifting off of your identity these days just so long as you have the right identity and you're not white you're not identifying as white even though this person is clearly half white okay so she's getting he excuse me is getting ratioed into oblivion uh the vast majority of people commenting are not for this prisoner trade but let me know what you think is it a good thing that we got back the big whiny cry baby that is Brittany Griner and that we gave Russia back the uh, merchant of death and we're so against just selling guns the uh, people Guns are bad. Guns are evil. Even though the Biden administration gave $85 billion worth of guns and helicopters and bombs and missiles to Afghanistan. Yeah. It, was this a fair trade? Eh? Huh? Going by the double standards of the uh, Biden administration? Was this a bad trade? Was this an evil trade? <laughs> the Merchant of Death for Brittany Griner. Let me know what you think in the comment section. And please like and subscribe to my BitChute channel if you have not already. B-I-T-C-H-U-T-E dot com forward slash the realist philosopher. That's BitChute dot com forward slash the realist philosopher. Go check it out. Like, follow me there, subscribe, and comment.